needs to wipe a Martin Vittari. What a start from the Chilean. Delighting the South American fans as they head out onto the start loop up this asphalt climb. Victor Koretsky turns on the afterburners behind Giaz to try and assert himself at the front of this one as well. Litcher's in there in the red jersey. Yeah, the from all from Belgium, but the adrenaline is high in their bodies, and you can see that as well. Marta Vidal, what a start! What immediately a start out of the gate. Vidari and Koretsky right alongside him as well. Just the conditions from today, very steep, and only I think the top 10 can ride this, oh, and then riders have running. to walk. Oh, he is topple over the top of this. They watch this ripple backwards as the rest of the pack almost run over the top of them at the top of this climb. He is just sort of tagged exactly the wrong part of that rock and got flipped over the bars. They turn it on. Chaos further down the order then. Riders battling on this really steep climb and you can just see what happens whenever one rider gets off or has a problem on a climb. It just ripples back through the pack. Pieta from all now on third place. Oh. The Factory team rider. Vidari just soaking the bike up underneath him there, getting it back down the ground, moving forward. Look at the effort he's putting in, Henry. He's charging. Yeah. He seems to be charging very early in this, in, uh, into this race. And it, I think it's uh, about being confident, uh, which, you know, also he's pumped by the crowd. There's a lot of like Chileans here. He's been racing in Brazil for so many years. So he has a very strong and passionate fan base cheering for him. Mike. And it's the first time that he's leading an uh, elite World <laughs> Cup like that. Just bunny hops the whole rock. It's Jordan Swoon now who is chasing hard to close that gap to the leading group. But he will be in touch it's at the top of that joins this group. It's a different party altogether, isn't it? Gaze has recovered well yeah. after that start loop mistake. Gaze back in that leading group, seventh place. So, the foam up, latches, oh, it's a little hesitation there from Koretsky on the pedals. Watch out for Filippo Colombo, now on third place already. And there is Adrian Boishi, Sam Gaze and Vidari. Carter oh. Woods, first race in elite for the Canadian. Blevins moving up. Yep, Blevins going well in 11th, heading for the top 10, specialised factory racing rider. There is yes, Nino Scherter, so covered in dust, so that looks like he's had a big one out on course Whoa. somewhere. On his arm, on his back, everywhere. Oh, that was a big one. Done that first lap, something had gone wrong. Do you know where it happened, though? Uh, Top part how? of the set, we didn't see it on the cameras, but yeah, we, he all of a sudden he was with uh, Colombo, and they were riding in tandem, and then next thing, he's right back down the field. But yeah, head to toe in dust. Nino Scherter being in the wars, but... You can see Jordan Saru, I think you're right, Bart. Sam Gaze has got... Latched on the back of him and can Christopher Blevins now join the party as well, make yeah, that a group of three. It looks like yeah. that sixth place now for Christopher Blevins, but you could see as well Sam Gaze was pushing a bigger gear. Yeah, here comes Dupo. All four riders super smooth through the rock section, just ticking it off. And look at his body language, still Strip. some speed in it. Straight post for Blevins as well, not a dropper seat post. Yeah. He's, got, he's almost back on now, I think by the next descent he'll be back in that group. An amazing three, three specialised riders in the front group of five. A chasing group, watch out for them. They're able to come in back to their leading group. The diary. Leads his teammate Koretsky, then Dubo, then Gears, then Colombo. Seven leaders. Really nothing in it after the one hour mark. The one hour mark. Vidari. Yes. Leads Colombo, Koretsky, Dubo, Blevin, Saru, Gears, Sherman's all through cleanly. Yeah, they all, oh wow, they came, came back all. Simon Avendati as well. Avendati, wow. yeah. They are all back together, really. Now, there is that Schwarzbauer group. Half a league coming through. <laughs> this race is it's crazy. amazing to watch. It's kept us with Sherman. Simone. This has to be one of the closest UCI cross country <laughs> Olympic <laughs> World Cups ever. But the crazy thing is, early days, it looked like it was going to split to bits. And they went too but hard for almost a lap. And then everyone went, we can't keep this going. Let's chill out a little bit. And now it's all now, just congested yeah. back up again. Koretsky leading here on that PEM track for the last time. Colombo, then Vidari, then Blevins, then Debo. Blevins looking good. Blevins up the inside of Vidari yeah. now, his looking teammate. Really good. Blevins looking calm, he's cool, he's been in the right place. He hasn't been like Saru drifting off the back, he's never got dropped really from that front group. 
French Jamkin, Colombo, Blevins, Godari, Dupont. Can you remember a last lap of as many riders at no. the front of this one? <laughs> I think it never happened before, oh, to be yeah. honest. <laughs> On but sections like this, we can expect attacks of one of the riders. Uh, last I think. lap, Colombo, wasn't it? Yeah, but on this it one. looks like uh, Goretzky is uh, keeping the pace Oof. high. And there's a small gap behind uh, Vidaure. Martin Vidaure. But free specialised in that front four. Yeah, yeah. Five. Oh. Oh, Absolutely. pressing on now, the acceleration's coming. Bruising finale to oh. this one. Koretsky pushes and so does Vidari. These two have unfinished oh. business from short track. Vidari beats Koretsky up the climb. Colombo's got the message and is heading with them. Their teammate Blevins is still there in contention as well on fourth wheel. Martin Vidari, the Chilean national champion, leads them up this part of the climb. Colombo up the outside, whether he's going to take the lead or not, but it's all getting super cagey. He is still just turning a big gear. Filippo Colombo up this tough climb. Blevins up there as well, takes the rock Whoa. on, clears it. Vidari, Dubot, they're all up there clean. He can gears up there, get up there cleanly ah. this time. He can then. Descalu, Avondetto in there as well. That was impressive, all of them riding it that lap. Oh, man, get Risky almost folding the front wheel yeah. there. He had to make a quick sharp break to avoid hitting Colombo, grab the front wheel. That's a lot of that front wheel. Look at the effort Koretsky now. Here we go. Koretsky going for it. Colombo tries to cover it off, but the Frenchman to the front now. The pace picking up as they head for the second tech feed zone. The group begins to stretch. I think Vidare in fourth just getting distanced a little bit there. Blevins is in Ooh. third at the minute. Christopher Blevins is starting to look really strong now. You know the Durango native. Vidare just off the back. Debo just getting distanced a little bit as well. Vidari digging deep to stay with this group. But this next climb is going to be yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the toughest climb of the race, almost the last climb. All of a sudden, oh. it feels like it's a group of four. And here comes Blevins, tries to go around the outside of Colombo. Oh. Blevins still has matches to burn here, you know. Yeah, Colombo blocked the road a little bit for Blevins. Still not splitting. Vidari on fourth. Saru here, fifth now. Sam Gase. Debo's cracked. Debo has cracked the first to blink. Saru's gone past him. Blevins. Oof. Blevins leading. Christopher Blevins is gone here. Filippo Colombo in second. Christopher Blevins. He's leading. Wow. What a ride from Christopher Blevins. Can the American grab a win at the first time of asking in cross country Olympic? Yeah, and that attack, Koretsky went first, then Blevins over the top, and you could just see Koretsky almost crack and just roll over the handlebars. There is Colombo. Yeah. Needs, needs to stay concentrated But also here. Koretsky is not that far off. No, he's recovering well. Oh, whoa, Colombo, whoa, 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 whoa. falters in the left-hand corner. Could that be just the ticket for Christopher Blevins? Saru now four, Badare five. Has a good long look back. Oh. Colombo hands them in the middle of the bars. Going for absolutely, <laughs> look at the effort on Koreski. Saru's there, the Vidari's the there. The second and third place is still open. This is the first place. Christopher Blevins looks over his shoulder, points behind him. Christopher Blevins is set to take the win. In Mayapura, Brazil, they're sprinting for second place. It doesn't matter to Blevins. Behind oh. him, it's Koreski. Victor Koreski pips Filippo Colombo, then Saru. Then Vittari. Sam Gears belts home. Max Feudel, 19th. There's Ben O'Willa. The man himself, Chris Blevins. What a race he rode. Dug his way back to one of the fastest moving races we've ever seen. The podium then, Blevins, Koretsky, Colombo, Saru and Vidari. Three specialised factory racing riders on the podium.